Embrace who you are. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Melanie Kiss and I am happy to see you here. Who are you? Sounds like an easy question, but it can be difficult for many who may have this feeling that they have lost who they are at their core. I bet you you could think of things that you could do that describe who you are, such as I like to exercise, paint, do yoga, read, bike, cook, you know. These are things that you are capable of doing, but it's not who you are, it's what you do. So I invite you to close your eyes and take three deep breaths. values that are important to you, such as maybe family, health, authenticity, freedom, respect, evolution, connection, love. Now I invite you to think of your beliefs that support your values. Here are some examples such as, I love myself so I can love others. Eating healthy food and exercising keeps me healthy. I gain knowledge when reading books or take classes and I feel like I'm evolving. Come up with your own supporting beliefs and write them down if need be. Now that you know what you love to do, your values and beliefs, what is it the deep core feeling that resides in you that is you? Maybe it's something you are still trying to figure out or maybe you're already feeling it. Here are some examples inner peace, joy, being present, exist, true, flourish, in my full power of self, well-being, accomplished, proud, gratitude, satisfied. When you feel who you are at your deepest core and you're able to maintain this feeling in many parts of your life or situations, regardless of what it is, you embrace who you are. Not to say that all is perfect and you're walking on cloud nine. It means that you have a better understanding of who you are and what gives you a deep pur purpose in your life. It means you're aware that, that things can change, feelings, emotions, and beliefs can change. So take time to reevaluate what comes up when you have that uneasy feeling of change. This may stem from past experiences that need some attention, to heal from the past wounds that never got the attention it needed to heal. So cry, scream, release, let it go, and bring your attention to what it is you want and who it is you want to be. New values, beliefs, emotions may come up that may have been dormant for a really long time but they are part of you. They are you that is now taking up space and nothing happens for nothing and things happen at the right moment that it's supposed to happen. So take time to embrace all that is and will be. Thank you for watching. I'm an NLP certified coach, wellness and fitness coach, visionary to guide people to bring wellness for life with their mind and their body and soul. On that note, be happy, be you.